Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar. How many triangles are there in this figure? This is not just a puzzle to test your observational skills. This is actually a common math test question in India. I learned about this problem from the Indian Express. This problem is actually going viral because Bollywood celebrities, including Sonam Kapoor, Aditi Rao Hydri, and Diana Penti, were trying to figure out the correct answer. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video, and I'll explain the mathematical way you can approach this problem. So one way you could solve this problem is by counting every single triangle in the figure. This will be an exhaustive list of all of the triangles. If you're careful, you'll get the correct answer of 18 triangles. But remember, this is a common test question in India, and it would be impossible for a student to count every single triangle and all the different variations of this kind of question on an exam. So what is the pattern in this question? Let's figure out a mathematical way to count the number of triangles. We'll start by focusing on a single figure. If we have one triangle, there are no slanted lines on the inside, and we just have one big triangle. So this is easy, we just have one. Now what happens if we put a slanted line on the interior of this triangle? How many total triangles are there? Well, we have the one big triangle from before, but we now have two more triangles. We have this small triangle and we have another small triangle. So when we have one slanted line, there are a total of three, which equals one plus two triangles. We have the one triangle from before plus the two new triangles we've created. So what happens if we put another slanted line on the inside? Well, we still have the three triangles from before. We have the one big triangle, we have these two triangles from the one slanted line case, and now we've created some new triangles. We've created exactly three smaller triangles from this new line. So with two slanted lines on the interior, we have one plus two from the one slanted line case, plus we have added three more triangles for a total of one plus two plus three, which equals six total triangles. Now there's another way that you could count this, if you list all of these triangles, you'll see that we have three small triangles, two medium triangles, and one large triangle. This also makes for a total of six. If we continue this pattern, we could guess the general formula. If you have n slanted lines on the interior, the total number of triangles will be equal to one plus two plus all the way going to n plus n plus one, and the sum of this will be n plus one times the quantity n plus two all over two. So how do we know this formula actually holds? Well, let's do a little proof of this. Now let's add the two slanted lines of the triangle. These will be the sides of the triangle. So how many slanted vertical lines are there? Well, there'll be the n on the interior plus the two vertical sides of the triangle. So there are a total of n plus two vertical lines. A triangle is formed by any two of these slanted lines plus the horizontal base of the triangle. So the total number of triangles will be n plus two, choose two, and that simplifies to be the quantity n plus one times the quantity n plus two all over two. So we figured out a general way to count the number of triangles in this kind of shape. So how does that help us solve the original problem? Well, this figure has a total of six triangles. Now let's scale it up a little bit. By the same logic, this small figure also has a total of six triangles, and this medium shape also has a total of six triangles. And if we put them all together, we've created six plus six plus six triangles, and you can check we haven't created any other triangles. So we have a total of 80 triangles. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions. If you like this video, please check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon. 
If you have a math topic, you can email me, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. And you can catch me on social media, either at Mind Your Decisions or at Presh Tallwalker.